Early to rise be at one with nature. Mother nature so undefiled. Give thanks to life and health and strength and daily substances. Rise out of your sleepless sounder. Rise up, you mighty race. Free your mind and be at one with nature. Mother nature so divine and defiled. Yes, sometimes you have to free your mind, you know, and be at one with the universe, and the universe will be at one with you. Clear your minds is like clearing your organs. Spiritual and physical must balance together. Just likewise, material and physical must balance and temporal must balance. Yes, I give thanks up in nature. Observe the wildlife, listen to the birds and the trees. And give thanks for everything that have life. Because the earth is the fullest and the Lord thereof and all that dwell therein. Give thanks to the green herbs. Yes I give thanks to nature. Sometimes I have to free your mind, you know. And nature can help you do that. Morning Joe, fresh breath, fresh air, oxygen. Invoke that in your lungs, clear your lungs with some deep breath. Get some exercise, you know. Cook up in the house and all these things. Not to always good. Walking and nature is a good form of exercise. Good way of clearing your mind. Good way of thinking. Springtime, flowers them are bloom. Lot of daffodil. Can you hear the birds them? The background. Glorious things are spoken of the city of the Almighty. So once a man and twice a child, everything is for a while. Look after your body and mind and it will look after you quite so. Dreams are real, you know. Anything that is in the, the celestial is also 
in the terrestrial you just use to figure it out if it is direct or indirect yeah but dreams are real very real We must learn to forgive the Sinai also can be forgiven. That is balance. Nature all around us, you know. That of dandelions, them. I grew up to dandelion, good for prostate, good for a lot of things, and them grow wild in nature. We're not come for fight against flesh and blood, you know. We come for fight a spiritual war. Our flesh and blood is temporal. The spiritual is it the spirit is everlasting. Yeah, so we don't really come for fight against flesh and blood. Got that to a dicky. But spirit lasts forever. So we fight, we fight in a spiritual battle. Because the flesh and bone is temporal. Yeah, it is uh, it's temporal. Yeah, the flesh and bone is temporal. Mind is a powerful thing, you know. So you have to feed it good food.
Them say mankind on you I use five percent of them daytime of them cremion. Only five percent we are use. The data we have in our cranium. It's ninety-five percent I tap into it. Powers what the mind have. Because we're disconnected, you know, with the universe. And we disconnect. If I disconnect with the universe, you're disconnected with yourself. You know what I mean? It's like a bulb. It, it, it shines a little light, but it dim. Now I give the maximum output of wattage. So most, uh, so most humans are flexing. You know? Because some mankind them lose them powers, you know. Yeah, them created. But them, 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 them lose them powers. Mambo. Mambo. Oh, yeah. I mean. Yes. Why do the Eden range and the people imagine vain things? Kings of the earth set themselves to take counsel against John John 19. And so let us break their chains and cast them card from amongst us. But he that seat up in Zion shall laugh. <laughs> yes, you know. Cause sometimes man think foolish things, you know. Try to accomplish things that them can because I just set an eye self on the whole of Mount Zion already. You know. All I and I glory are stored up in Zion. And I was chosen from the womb. Yeah. Jadon promised an eye that these things long time. So when man came, minds and people and friends take counsel, they have to just laugh at them. I just they imagine vain things. Yes, they imagine vain things, you know, which themselves them cannot accomplish. Jealousy and man and bad mind is a, is always active in the heart of flesh. You know, these are the things that destroy the world. Envious, jealousies, maliciousness, greed. Them things that destroy the earth, my lad. The sun would always come out to shine. No matter how you man try to destroy it, still come out to do him duty. That is job.
the weeds, you know, the fruits will be amongst the wheat and the tan. Negative and positive come together and give you light. So there will always be negative things. And there is also, there will always be positive. There's two roads before you, you have to choose one of them. The car ignition don't come on unless the negative and the positive meet. The positive alone can't start the car. And the positive alone can't start the turn on the bulb. And, and as such is life. The righteous man would have no work for do if there wasn't a villain. And the villain would have no work for do if there wasn't a righteous man. Yeah, so I so, so the earth make positive and negative come together and synthesize to give you a perfect balance. This is where you call unity common ground you know two of them come together to benefit humanity because there is always a common ground you know the villain just don't be a villain for him want to be a villain and the righteous man just don't be a righteous man him want to be a villain It's the choices, you know. Choices. The choices we make in life, we have to learn to live with them. Because life is full of choices. You know. Yeah, life is full of choices. You just have to make your choice. Yeah, life is full of choices. Your life is full of choices. I must always learn to give thanks, you know, when you rise. But there is no day greater than today. Because today is the greatest day ever. Yesterday is already gone. Tomorrow is promised to no one. So the, the time is always now, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but the time is always now. Greater David, greatest sons. So. Give thanks to our forefathers, our ancestors, them, for them journey. Give thanks to them works. Praises be to our ancestors. But today is the greatest day ever. Because I and I is here today. So we have to carry on the button. Yes, we have to carry on the button. You can't drop the button and let it, like the, 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 the universe are gonna stand still. It now gonna stand still. Nature now gonna stand still. Nature keep evolving. Yeah, nature not stagnant. There's always new creature form because there's always we call it micro bacteria a farm into new creature but everything evolved from bacteria you know, living organism yeah everything come from a living organism your sperm is a living organism 
you know everything that is living can turn into an organism every living thing come from a living organism you know no matter how minute it is you know a small microbacteria can turn into a giant so everything that is living come from a micro organism then a microbacteria But it don't stay stagnant. It keep evolving. <laughs> yes, it keep evolving. So, I and I must not be stagnant. The sun. Yeah, the sun. I, I love to come out. Because we're early in the morning. Yes. I feel I wonder where we're there. We're there in the UK, man. A UK we're there. You know what I mean? Because not because we in our Babylon. We can't enjoy nature. Anywhere we're there we are gonna enjoy nature. Anywhere we're there, we are gonna live the life of righteousness. That's ceaseless. Because wherever you lay your head, that's your home. In reality. You know what I mean? Because Zion is not a place where you can go with your passport. Or go with your visa. Zion is a place where no sinners cannot enter there. So Zion is not Ethiopia or Addis Ababa. Or Jamaica. Or down in Ghana. Or... Where is Tanzania? No. For I, man, personally, Zion is a place where no sinners cannot enter there. So, me, literally, that is in I cranium, my mind, my physical and temporal. Because my temple is my holy ground. Yeah, my temple is my holy ground. My temple is my heaven. And my L. Because heaven and L is right here on earth. I mean, never know no man was dead and go on the earth when he come from and come back and tell us. Boy, I don't have L terribly now. Be a wicked man, Mr. Dung there. Or a man got heaven. He say, Be a angels with wings that fly. I don't know no one of that. L and heaven is right here on earth. Because the prophecy tell her and I say, The earth is the fullest. What is above is so beneath. You know what I mean? The earth is the fullest. And the things that I'm dwelling in it. The seas and everything. So, I man now look for heaven. When I go back to the earth. Because I go straight back to the earth. You see me, I say. So, I try to say. Oh man, I say, my God, heaven like, heaven up in the sky. I know of that Jed. Hell and heaven the right here. Because people the power to live in hell. Live in hell. And a bombarded fire. Nuclear fire too. Them skill a peel off. Right in front of you. When you tell live vision. And we see that. Hell that. People the power earth are starved. Dead for hunger. And food they are waste in Europe. By the tens and thousands and the ton. A waste. Poverty is design. Poverty is not real. Poverty is orchestrated by the, by the upper class to keep a set of people down. Poverty is not real. Poverty is design. Because one man have 250 million and the next man don't have none. And I tell me it's a poverty real. Food in England are wasting. And people are starving over the world. A man has spent one point eight billion pound bombs and nuclears. And I tell myself poverty is real. No, poverty cannot be real. It is designed. It is designed by man. 
Because man create and man destroy. Man have the power in him hand. So him say now him, him superior to a next man. Him not humble himself. And know say with power come responsibility. No. So man ego get the better of them. And that is just part of life. You know? Yeah, it's part of life. Survival is the key. Yeah, survival is the key. Unfortunately, this is going on for centuries and centuries, 10,000 years ago. 50,000 years. I didn't exist before slavery and all of them things I didn't go on said we. Nation arise up against nation. Kingdom rise and kingdom fall. This is nothing new. Nothing is new on the face of this earth. Nothing at all is new on this face of this earth. Kingdom arise down the kingdom. One kingdom I sell out the next kingdom can feel like say fame tribe more superior than the next tribe and I'm look out for fame people them and all of these things. A long time these things are going at the So nothing is new on this face of this earth. But within all this chaos there's always peace. You know what I mean? Because they can't wipe everybody off of the planet, you know. With them deep population, you know. Because the life will have to exist and the earth will continue. It's not stay stagnant. Even if them poison the soil, the soil will always replenish itself. So it's not stay stagnant. Life will continue after this. After all this pandemic. But you have to just know if you want to live in a hell or you want to live in a heaven right here on earth because it exits right here. Yeah. And nature is so divine. You know? You hear the birds, they must sing. Tranquility. You know what I mean? We seek and we find and we look for all of these things. Sometimes. You can't find the answer, that's why you have to humble yourself. Because when too much chaos in your environment, that you're surrounding, that your friends them and all them things there, you're not going to find where that's you now. Sometimes to you find yourself, you have to be with yourself then. You know what I mean? You have to look within yourself to find yourself. You know what I mean? You can't look all around you and look for answers from friends. And all for friends and all of them things. Now, sometimes you have to look within yourself. You see what I say? Yeah, you can't. Because a friend will let you down, you know. But a wise man now go let down himself. He must try to always upgrade himself. Upgrade his mind. And all of them things. So sometimes, to find yourself, you have to look within yourself. You know what I mean? Because everything come out of self, you know what I mean? Yeah, you have to look within self first. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to love self before you can love any other one. In real life. So look within self first, you know what I mean? Find peace. Be at one with nature and nature will be at one with you. Yeah. So, when we end this note, look within self, find peace with nature and nature will find peace with you. You know what I mean? Find solidarity because heaven and earth is right here. You know what I mean? Be at peace with nature, man. Be at one with self. You know what I mean? Self-reliance and all of these things. You know what I mean? Strengthen the mind, the physical and the spirit. Give thanks for life, health and strength and daily substances.